Hi, I'm Michelle. I have a 3D printer and I'm gonna make an amusing automaton. This is what I thought up in my brain and I put on a piece of paper and I 3D printed it and here it is. I was thinking to myself, so wouldn't it be cool if we had a dragon? You bet your five-toed socks it would! Let's do it! I was thinking I could make something with lots of parts that move and turn and gears and moving things and pretty butterflies but all I could think of was a dragon because I thought that would be easy and I was gonna start with easy just turn the crank and the dragon flies should have called it a dragonfly <laughs> ah, I drew some pictures look at that can you see it look there's the dragon I had some part oh cantilever snap fits I had to figure that out and it's kind of like tabs and they stick in there and they don't come out. Here it is. Done. I, well, missed some parts. Here's some, some parts. Like these won't fell off. Hey! <laughs> Look at this. Millimeters. What are they? Why are they on my paper? <laughs> They've got MMs after things instead of IN. What even are millimeters? I had to get a ruler. <laughs> I was using the ruler a lot. I figured I'd learn what millimeters, you know, feels like. It's kind of like the language of the Europeans or the Canadians. Do the Canadians do it? I don't know. Mexicans? Ah, I hear that we're the only ones who are weird, so yeah. Do you want to go anywhere else? Speak the language of mmm. It's only two M's. Mmm. Millimeters. Here it is. Done. It's got like this crank thing in the middle. It's kind of like a wire. It's a crankshaft. I didn't know what that was called at first. So I just called it a wiry thing. And then it's got all these weird little pins coming up through here. And then I had this first level and it was kind of going all over the place. So I made a second level so it could kind of hold it up and down but I was trying to get it to go straight up and down but then I realized the bottom just goes in a circle so that's not gonna work at all. <laughs> it kind of works though. These dragons fly in a circle. So that's kind of cool. Why are dragons good at telling stories? It's because they have impressive tails. So the shaft thing I printed in the shape of an octagon because you can print it flat on the bed and then it'll go up 45 degrees and that'll print fine and then straight up and over it. yeah octagon i made an octagon and it printed but it still had supports because it, it's look at that it's like a weird thing i forgot about that part i was trying to not print with supports but i had to print with supports look at the head it's like right right there sideways it looks pretty cool on the side this view is like a big old circle, but, I, but this view is like artsy, sort of, you know, he's got sort of eyeballs. I don't know if you know this, but um, art is hard. I, I didn't realize that, but <laughs> it's kind of hard. So this is me starting out and I am bad at art. It's okay to say, and I will live with it, but this is amazing. Durgan, the burninator. Burninating! You know, that's what dragons do, they burn stuff. Durgan, the burninator, is birthed from the flames of Fusion 360! Ah, he moves! So lifelike! Wow! <laughs> this, right here, is the greatest automaton this side of the Mississippi. Maybe. I'm not quite sure about that. I haven't looked anything up at all, so. It could be. You never know. Possibly the best automaton this side of the Mississippi. I am okay in saying that. <laughs> and it works. I put my sweat and blood into this thing. No, really, I, I did put some blood into it. I don't know about the sweat part, but when I was doing the mouth, I printed it, it's so thick that there were so many supports in here. I mean, 
Look how thick that is. It's like, ah. So I was trying to get it out with tweezers in between his little teeth here. I tried really hard and then I like poked myself with the tweezers. I was bleeding. So yeah, <laughs> this is a very dangerous job. Don't poke yourself. It hurts. <clears throat> I got better. So because I was bleeding, I just decided to leave the rest of the supports inside his mouth. <laughs> it's fine. He doesn't, he doesn't mind. Kind of looks like braces anyways, so it looks great. Just amazing. You're just gonna live with it. It's okay. Flossing takes forever. I'm just gonna say that. Did you know that dragons can weigh a lot because they have massive scales? <laughs> this is the best dragon you've seen since other dragons you've seen around. This dragon is slightly different than other dragons. Uncolored. Birth from the flames of my 3D printer. <laughs> Amazing. He breathes fire. In your imagination. The first dragon to ever breathe fire was trying to eat a cucumber, but it was a jalapeno. All right, let's score it. I have this rubric. Uh, three different things. That way we know I'm on track and I'm actually making an automaton and not just a tea cozy or a doorstop. I thought when I got a 3D printer that I was just gonna make doorstops because I had no creativity and I made this thing. It's a dragon. I made a dragon instead of a doorstop. Although, it could work as a doorstop. Pretty well, probably. I should test it out. So the rubric. First thing, is it 3D printed? Yeah. Number two, does it move? Yeah, it moves. And last but not least, number three, is it amusing? I'm giggling, it, yeah, it amuses me. So we're good there, that's three of three, that's like 100%, that's like an A+, plus. I mean, wow! <laughs> well, there you have it. That's Durgan the Burninator. Oops. Oh yeah, these... <laughs> the bottom hurts. Comes out. Look at that! Got little tabs here, but nothing's holding it in this way. So I just kind of slide them in and hope that no one takes it out. 